Essentially, we eat for two reasons. One is to keep the levels of our nutrient high enough in the blood so that our tissues of our body can perform the functions they need to. The other reason we eat is to deposit extra calories in our fat tissue, which serves sort of as a calorie bank that stores energy as fat for future times at which we might need it. So the way this is achieved is by fat making a different hormone called leptin that essentially reports to the brain how many calories are stored as fat. If fat is gained, leptin level goes up, and this reports to your brain that you have extra fat and you'll eat less until weight returns to the starting point. These signals that report to the brain are uh, sensed by a brain region known as the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is a part of the brain that regulates all of our basic bodily functions and drives, including thirst, body temperature, reproductive behaviors, but also the regulation of food intake. And we know this partly because defects of the hypothalamus, either as a consequence of injuries or diseases, can cause obesity in humans. And it's this system that's responsible for regulating food intake and weight in every animal species. And uh, as we're coming to learn in ever greater detail, uh, also controls it in humans as well.